Hi there, it's Izilia here from Tax World. Today I'd like to talk to you about Section 131 of the Taxes Consolidation Act 1997. Section 131 addresses situations where a company repays share capital and then issues bonus shares. Repaying share capital is not considered distribution, but if a company issues bonus shares after repaying share capital, this issuance is treated as distribution up to the amount of share capital repaid. Bonus shares here refer to any shares issued without new capital being introduced to the company. However, bonus shares are not considered as distribution if the repaid capital consisted of fully paid-up preference shares that existed since the 27th of November 1975 and remained fully paid up until they were repaid. These preference shares should have a fixed dividend rate and the dividends should not be excessive compared to similar shares. Furthermore, if preference shares were issued after the 27th of November 1975, they should have been paid for with new capital and not converted from ordinary shares. In the case of a non-close company, bonus shares are not deemed as distribution if they can't be redeemed and are issued more than 10 years after the share capital was repaid. This section primarily aims to tackle situations where companies could have potentially exploited the issuance of bonus shares and repayment of capital to extract profits tax-free. Let's look at an example. If a company repays €250,000 of share capital and then issues shares worth €1 Euro each at €0.40 cents per share, followed by a bonus issue of preference shares without new capital, the first issue is treated as a distribution of €75,000 and the second as €175,000. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.